Will you pray with me? Yes. Uh, dear Lord, please protect the Irish family, protect baby Cheyenne. Please help them be led, God, and directed uh, and to, 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 to be even more upright and strong and to appreciate this great blessing and this reprieve and uh, to, to, to help them be a, a, a strong light of what people can do together for justice. And uh, please put up a hedge of protection around this family and help them not fall into any of the snares or darts of the old serpent, Satan. In your son's name, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Because I did pray for you. I did pray. And hearing your depression yesterday, hearing your, your fiancé, I mean, I could just hear it. He was like his guts were torn out when they were demonizing him in the media, putting out false information. But I told him, I said, look, be strong. Bring into court that they got the wrong name on that file and that it's another person he's being accused of being, and it's going to be over. And it, it happened. Yeah. And their hoax has been defeated. But now they are going to take a crooked toenail, Stephanie, and claim you're the devil. Do you understand that? You've got to every minute not give in to anything because they take normal life, normal problems, and they blow it out of proportion. You understand that, right? Yes, I do. And you can only hire babysitters or people you totally trust because they'll try to send infiltrators in to set you up. You under I mean, I reckon, and, I, and I know I respect your fiancé saying, I said, why didn't you leave New Hampshire when this started a few months ago? And he said, well, it's our home. And I can only respect that you can't starve us out, you can't make us run. I understand that. But sometimes there's a strategic retreat. And uh, I know your support's there in New Hampshire. But just, you need, I'm not trying to make you paranoid, but you've been through the ringer. You have got to be thinking every minute. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. And honestly, when it, when it comes to a babysitter or a daycare, she will be left with family and close family that we can trust. And that's it. Yeah, and, and, you know, if Jonathan's got to work two jobs so you don't have to work, that's just the way it is. You know, we're here to work ourselves to the bone and break our backs for our children. That is the secret power source of life, giving giving everything to them in their future. And uh, I, I just, again, I, I, I just, we've made it out of this valley. In fact, will you print me the Lord's Prayer or, or what's the prayer of the Psalms? Though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death. Just Google that, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death. I forget if it's a psalm or... Lord's, no, it's not the Lord's Prayer. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. You, know, you, you, you make of the place for me in the presence of my enemies. Uh, I want to read that after you guys leave us, but, uh, but I'm here talking, just so elated, so excited. Uh, so when did you get the baby back? About, about 7 o'clock or I mean, I mean, about 1 o'clock or so? Are, uh, uh, are you there, Stephanie? Yes, I'm here. I think I lost you for just a moment there. Uh, yeah. What time did you get the baby back? Four o'clock this afternoon. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, were any of the protesters still there when you got the baby and came out? Um, no. When we when we came out, uh, we did not have her. When we came out, uh, the only thing that we could say to any anybody that was there was that. We are very happy. We can't state on anything that was just said in court. And uh, we, they asked us if we could at least tell them how we feel, emotionally how we feel. And we, we say that we are very happy, very excited, and that um, Jonathan had actually said that, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. What is a smile worth? And... And I think everybody knew, and everybody saw us taking, uh, strapping and adjusting a car seat. And I think with that, everybody put two and two together. Well, uh, again, I just want to say that uh, everybody is counting on you guys to keep your noses completely clean 
And so I know you guys aren't like this. You're very humble people, but just don't feel confident. Feel thankful. And I, that's just my, my word of advice, Stephanie. God bless you. You're wonderful. And we'll talk to you again, uh, hopefully, uh, tomorrow on the show or, or Sunday or next Monday. Give you some time with uh, Cheyenne and uh, your, your mother-in-law and everybody else there. And Jonathan, if I can, I'll just uh, say bye to Jonathan and then talk to Gary Franchi, who's there in your home with you. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Stephanie? Um, only thing I would like to add is something I've already said. I just want to let everybody know that everybody, not just me, not just Jonathan, not just Cheyenne, everybody in our families and our very close friends, everybody thanks everybody that has helped out in any way, like I stated, in prayers or by showing up to either of the rallies that I know of that took place, we we don't know how to describe how thankful we are to every single individual out there across the world that we know of that that has at least sent out a prayer. Thank you, everybody. Well, that's the power of right action and protesting and prayer and phone calls and news articles and you know, as I said from the beginning, even if you guys were bad people, and it turns out that's not the case, uh, you, you you shouldn't have your child taken because your uh, your fiance was supporting Oath Keepers and free speech and the and the Republic and the Bill of Rights, and it you know it, it turns out of course it was all a, a, a fraud. Uh, God bless you, uh, Stephanie. Can, uh, can you hand the phone back to Jonathan? Yep. Give me just a second to go find him. I think he is in the other room with the Cheyenne at the moment. Hold on. Well, you know, we don't have to say bye to, to him if he's with the baby. Oh, this is a very special time right now. Did you want to say hi to Mr. Frenchie? Yes, I just wanted to ask you, Jonathan, that uh, congratulations. Thank God. We look forward to talking to you. I'm going to give you till next week unless new things develop to come back on the show. So you have a few days with the baby uninterrupted and get all the crowds out of there. Uh, but anything else you want to add before we talk to Gary Frenchie at Lone Lantern Society? Just, you know... Thank the Lord. Thank everyone that sent their prayers and their support and their advice. Again, we can't we can't stress that enough. You know, it, it means so much. And you know, we know that it wasn't this wasn't about us or just Cheyenne. It was it was about the fact that they're they're doing things unconstitutionally and illegally that needs to be stopped. And you know, it's the health. Like I said, the health's just been incredible. And thank everyone so much. And God bless. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, God bless you. We'll talk to you again soon. Uh, go ahead and give the phone to Gary Franchi, please. Yep. This is Gary. Gary, uh, I tell you, this is very exciting news. Uh, what is it like there in the in the Irish household? I mean, I mean, uh, the difference between watching videos of them a few days ago on YouTube, looking like their souls had been sucked out, to see them all radiant in in, in the new YouTube video we were showing earlier. Uh, you know that family back together, that good-looking family with Grandma there, and 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 and, I, and Jonathan's little sister. How beautiful! You know, it's it's, it's a really a beautiful sight to see. You know, the, them holding the baby, the smiles, uh, the love. The love is returned to this family, Alex. Uh, but there is still this um, this this heavy feeling in the air. Uh, even the the great grandmother was commenting that this is not the America that she remembers, and uh, I think it, this is really. You know, it's left the stain, but the the fact of the matter is that the baby is back home, safe and sound, in uh, in the arms that they should be, and not not in the arms of a of a tyrannical state that would just come in and brand a family and take a child based on a political affiliation. Gary, uh, you arrived when in New Hampshire? What was the protest like? How did the police behave themselves? Uh, I arrived yesterday. We got to the protest about 11 o'clock uh, this morning. Uh, the police were outstanding, very supportive. In fact, we had uh, learned that the one of the deputies there was a Sheriff Max supporter, had read uh, Sheriff Max's book. Uh, he was more concerned with us not getting hit by cars in the parking lot than, uh, than anything else. Uh, the the actual support from Oath Keepers was outstanding. There must have been at least 60 to 100 people out there, all with signs, don't tread on me flags. And that's with two days' banner. notice. That's with two days' notice. That's good.
yeah. And uh, at the end, they actually held a, a small oath ceremony, and there was a, a whole slew of new oath keepers that uh, that reaffirmed their oath to uh, uphold and defend the Constitution for the United States. So, you know, all in all, there was really a great turnout. The baby is back in their arms. We still don't have a confirmation of whether or not the affidavit is going to uh, remove the oath keepers from it. That's the, that remains to be seen. Well, I mean, the, the affidavit couldn't even get it straight that Mr. Irish doesn't have a conviction for beating his wife. And, and that's another big issue. Media Matters and everybody else, just like when they claimed I basically promoted some guy to kill three cops, it turned out it was a total lie. The guy hated me, a white supremacist. They had better take my name. It says Alex Jones supports baby beater. You know, that's the, uh, uh, we can't pull up the Media Matters. You just go to there. There's like three articles on there today. And I didn't even cover it. I'm just so sick of George Soros and all his garbage. But, yeah, yeah, I support a baby beater. Now he's beating the baby. That's not even in the stinking affidavit. I mean, these people, I'm not a litigious person, but when is enough enough, Gary? Well, you know, Alex, it's, it, these people are sick. Uh, as you know, Southern Poverty Law Center likes to label you as well, label me, and now, we're, uh, now we've been informed that, that the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center is teaming up with the Department of Homeland Security. And this is, I think, really just the test balloon uh, for a larger program that they may just put in place to go ahead and... No, 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 no. They people. admit in that report, as you said, that broke last week, we have it, the Austin Police Chiefs involved. They have a federal board with school teachers, uh, uh, social workers, uh, psychiatrists, doctors, where they're spying under Southern Poverty Law Center command via Homeland Security, asking kids or mommy and daddy patriots. Remember three months ago, Barry Cooper lost his eight-year-old son, former police officer who quit uh, over corruption, and, and he was doing stings on corrupt cops, and, and, and it was in the uh, uh, Williamson County order to take his son that he told his son not to trust the government. Well, like I said, it's happening. It's happening right now, and uh, we're witness to this fact. And it's just, a, it's just a matter of the people coming together, fighting against this tyranny, and not backing down. Well, God bless you, uh, and uh, I look forward to having you on very, very soon. I know next week the new film that I'm in, Enemy of the State's coming out. We're going to be carrying it at InfoWars.com. And I just appreciate all you actually found a real FEMA camp. It's amazing. Uh, Gary Franchi, look forward to having you on in the next week or so. God bless you. And again, keep warning that family. They better walk the line because you're mine. I walk the line. Gary, God bless you. Thank you, Alex. Keep up the good fight and good luck with your money bomb today. We hope you reach your goal. All right. Thank you so much. Well, that's up to the listeners. And I've just done an hour without plugging it.